Next up, at UFC Vegas 91, we have the main card opener. We have Tim Dirty Bird Means taking on Uros Medic. Tim Means 33 and 15 overall. He is 2 and 3 in his last five. He is coming off of the finish win over no longer in the UFC, Andre Fialo. He's taking on Uros Medic. A third of the experience, actually a quarter of the experience. But he is still a very good fighter. 9-2 overall, 3-2 and two in his last five. He's coming off that grappling loss to Mictic Orobai. Tim Means is a gritty guy. The Dirty Bird is a high-volume striker who can work <laughs> in a takedown. That's a chicken. That's a chicken. <laughs> That's a chicken. It's a fucking dragon, dumbass. That was a dragon. <laughs> the the actually helped. <laughs> that that's the only thing that helped. Either way, Tim Dirty Bird dot Dirty Dragon means is a gritty high volume striker. He can work in a takedown if he needs to. He's got that tricky karate style, so he's constantly switching stances, give people a hard time. It's hard to put him in a single category or give him a single path to victory because he will mix things up pretty well. He's active, he has a frustrating style, and he did just knock somebody out which snapped a three-fight skit. He's taking on Uros Medik. This guy's a clean technical striker. Comes out hot, fast, loose, throws a everything with intent. He has a 100% finish rate in those nine wins. He has speed, power, and killer instinct. He was just taken down seven times by Miktik Orobai, which is a bad look, and it did drag down his defensive wrestling statistics to 46%, but it's a bit misleading. It's almost unfair. Because Uros Medik has decent takedown defense. It was just, Mekdek Orobai is just such a nasty wrestler, he was able to get that done. Almost, here's your comparison, almost like what happened to Calvin Cater's striking stats after the Max Holloway fight. Max Holloway just beat that dude so bad that Calvin Cater's striking differential was so upside down that was never going to get fixed. Either way, this should be an Uros Medik fight all day. He should absolutely win this fight. Of all the unreasonably large favorites on this card, I don't think Uros is necessarily a big enough favorite. Obviously, the big questions are, what's he going to do if Tim Means goes all in on the wrestling? I personally think he'll be fine. I think the Mectic Orobai fight was an anomaly. I think that guy is just such a good wrestler. I think Uros will be totally fine with Tim Means' striking style, with the constant stance switches. Tim Means' hands are a little lower than they should be. And we know Uros has very genuine finishing power, not to mention Tim Means is 40 years old and he just beat a guy that is no longer in the UFC. Uros medic all day long and frankly... He's actually decent value at these odds. The big question is certainly going to be the takedown defense. I don't necessarily think it matters, and I think this is a showcase fight. What do you think, Jakey boy? Yeah, I, I think that Ur Ur Udo should win this fight, but I do, I do worry, and I don't, I don't agree with the odds should be wider because I, I fully respect a guy like the Dirty Bird Tim Means, lock of the week in his last fight. Right, I knew that he was going to weather the storm Fialo and be able to do what he needs to do. And the same thing, honestly, could happen here. Udo's medic is kind of a first round or bust type of dude. A lot of fucking first round finishes with not a lot of uh, of of what we've seen outside of the first round. And if there's ever some guy that kind of weathers the storm and kind of puts it together, it is Tim Means because he did that versus Andre Fialo. Andre Fialo was laying some good stuff. He was able to mix in some takedowns, but then he was able to do what he needed to do in the second round to uh to be able laid the volume to eventually finish that fight. Udos is going to be the better striker. He should be able to land. I agree. I'm not really worried about the wrestling of Tim Means. And honestly, Earl, 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 Earl Bay, Oral Bay, what the Oral fuck Bay. is that? Oral <laughs> Bay. <laughs> honestly, Oral Bay, I don't know how the fuck he even survived that. I mean, Udos was landing some good fucking shit in the pocket, had him hurt. He has he a still caveman get, head. Yeah, you still able head. to get those takedowns. And those takedowns are a lot different than the takedowns that Tim Means has. I mean, Tim Means is more of kind of just a reach over and a clinch and try to, to try to run the pipe or whatever. And Udos should be fine there but i will say on the live stream if this gets out of the first round i don't care how big of a beating yeah. tim means took i'm gonna be looking at those tim means odds to maybe put a sprinkle on tim means if it's out of the first round but udos is a dangerous dude tim means does get hit it's not like he's has never been finished he has been finished um in a number of ways so um i'm going to udos but i this you should think, be a you fun think fight. The odds should be wider, and I think they're. A little I don't. Bit. I don't. When I say wider, like I, I think Uros is good value at minus three ten. What is that here? Let me tell you what that trend. I think that my. I think that opening minus two hundred is a, a reasonable line. 
So, well, obviously it's a it's a better line, but here I think it's we have reasonable. Let me let me minus three ten. So that that what percentage would you give Uros to win this fight? What percentage do I think he's going to win this fight? Out of a hundred, yeah. What percentage? It should be probably eighty five. Okay. Minus three ten is seventy five percent. Okay. We done being stupid. All right. Okay. Let me see. Uh, you have a All bet right. on him then, right? You don't see it on premium. If you want to see that bet or a similar bet, we want picks.com. Click become a member. It is only $10 for an entire month. But that is what these odds translate to. Minus 310 is a 75% implied pop. In you don't have a bet on him. I know, idiot. Is an implied probability. <laughs> is an implied probability of 75%. So if you think Uros Medic wins this fight with more than a 75% confidence level, then minus 310 all of a sudden aren't such terrible odds. $9,100 in DraftKings, $7,100 in DraftKings. I'm with you, Jacob. Tim Means is, is a very good fighter. If Tim Means wasn't 40 and if he was a touch more durable, this would be different. This would be different. But he is 40. He does get finished. And Uros Medic is a finisher. So I just got to go that route. $9,100 is probably going to be worth it. Are you going to spend $7,100 on Timmy? Or do you think Uros is worth the $9,100? I mean, you need dogs in your lineup. So Not picking Timmy. There you go. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. The calculator that I just used to calculate those implied probabilities, those are on the website. I don't know how much longer that'll be there, but that is on the website. What are you doing? Oh, the basketball game. Man, Miles Turner just had a monster block. They're up seven, <laughs> eight minutes ago in the third. Dude, we played horse the other day, and I got I got stuffed on a, like, coming up. I wasn't going to dunk. And the, the, yeah, these the aren't 12-year-olds anymore. Yeah, the, I mean, the, the uh, hoop was lowered, so I'm not pretending I could dunk on a 12-footer. I was about to come down. And then the neighbor's like, six foot rim. It was embarrassing. It was like eight, maybe <laughs> seven and a half. No, there's no way that you're dunking on eight. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't even like. I wasn't even close. I got stuffed very far away, like very far, like just completely shut Man, down. You it was embarrassing. Beat up the fuck out of twelve year olds. We did. We smoked those twelve year olds in basketball. And that one kid talked shit. Went home. Literally took didn't, their ball and went home. Didn't that one kid talk shit? And yeah, I was like, "Go tell we, your mother to had, give me a call or something." No, because he because there was like three regular kids and then like a uh, like a I don't know if he was younger or just like a smaller kid. And they were like kind of picking on him. So That's we were right. like, "All we right, you, you're on our team." Right, and we just beat the fuck out of these bullies that were bullying this kid, <laughs> and they literally were like, "I'm I'm, I'm leaving." They and they had the ball, so they literally took the ball and went home. And, and I do remember that loving it. I thought we said something. I thought I said some smart you ass. You were talking shit the whole time. Every time you'd score, you'd look like you'd look at this kid like, oh, oh. Just and talking they were, shit the whole time. They were young children, and this is But yeah, they were literally is, like bullying that little kid. Yeah. And this is forty pounds ago, Ange. This is pre children, Ange. Really. The the movements. <laughs> Florida was better for you. I I, I tried to get you out for the, with the pickleball. I, I mean, I, guys, I try to keep this guy active. You know, let's go play pickleball. I'm very let's active. Play I go to jujitsu three days a week. I'm training. Three days I'm training. Well, I played. Visually, I it trained. doesn't look like you do a goddamn thing. What? What the fuck? That didn't move as oh, much as I was Oh, we got fights breaking out. Pat okay. Beverly is not very happy, huh? Let's then let's move on. Before you go, let me give you $50. Anybody who goes to wewantpicks.com slash bets and signs up with any one of our affiliate partners gets $50 as a thank you. Use the link, sign up, make a deposit. We send you 50 bucks as a thank you.